Yeah, well, I was working, you know, 60 to 80 hours a week. I had a global job. So I was on, you know, video conferencing before Zoom was popular a decade ago, uh, working with clients in Asia, you know, early morning meetings, evening meetings, plus a full North American day schedule. So I was running on empty already. And then, you know, going through my journey with sight loss, plus just the things you deal with in corporate, like restructuring, that sort of thing. I just knew my life wasn't working. And when I um, stopped driving, because there was a certain point that it just, I felt that it wasn't safe for me to no longer drive and stop doing that, like made that decision powerfully for myself because I just thought, okay, I don't feel safe. Then it's not safe for other people around me. It was around that same time that I really started reflecting on, okay, so I've been doing this work for about a decade or more. It's not working for me. My life isn't working. I'm working a lot. You know, there's got to be something different. And yeah, it really lined up for me that as we had restructured the HR organization, there wasn't really another opportunity for me to move into. Uh, at that point, and I just said, "I'll take the package." Thank you. <laughs> so, uh, with, with a lot of gratitude, yeah. and what I also hear, though, that uh, ooh, what's next? I mean, you're you're saying this is I'm done here, and I have this opportunity, but did you have an idea of what was next for yourself? I had no idea. I actually uh, enrolled just before I left corporate in the Landmark Forum because I knew that I needed to reconnect with myself. And I just, I hadn't done any personal development. I've done professional development, personal development, really looking within myself, I hadn't done. So I did some work with um, the courses with Landmark, which was helpful. And then through that journey, I came across NLP and Neuro Linguistic Programming Coaching. And it was something that I had seen about 12 years ago before and hadn't had time. I think we had an acquisition. <laughs> so, you know, I was dealing with something else and I was curious, went to an information session and I was just hooked with making change at the unconscious level and the evidence-based approach to coaching, which kind of spoke to my, that corporate background that I have. And from there, you know, going through the training, I actually use the tools on a day-to-day -day basis to navigate my world. And through that journey, I started sharing about my journey with sight loss because I initially was stepping over it. I was ignoring it. <laughs> I wasn't talking about it at all. And, you know, I realized that, it gives people um, a space for their voice to come through. So. Yes, yes, the whole, I hear that there's an inner kind of draw to grow yourself and that you found some organizations and opportunities there like Landmark and NLP. But it, it, it's interesting that you start on a personal growth journey and you discover yourself. And that's when you discover more of what you can do, who you can be. It wasn't like you set out to be a coach or a hypnotherapist or an NLP master oh. coach. You know, you didn't say that's I'm going to quit corporate and go for that. But this trust of starting your journey. And I guess that's one of the things I just want to point out now to listeners is the starting of the journey of that inward. Who am I? What do I want? What do I believe? What do I value? Um, is a is a great start. You don't have to figure out what do I want to be when I grow up. You just have to start. Thank you for being with us today for this episode of Find Your Voice, Change Your Life. Each person during interviews shares what has helped them find their voice. You can learn from these guests and find your voice so you can be confident to speak up and speak out. And remember to download Doreen's free seven-step guide to fearless speaking at Doreen7steps.com. We hope you enjoyed the show and we'll return next time. Until then, goodbye for now.